All right. Meet you right over there, and we'll do some paperwork. Okay. I took 60. It's fine, because if I... There's been some pretty amazing Pawn Stars deals, but today I'm going to cover the 8 best Pawn Stars deals of 2021. Welcome back to Finale, let's get into the video. Number 8, 200 plus pounds of silver. After being told by his father to contribute, one man of his word chose to buy over 200 pounds of silver. By the time he strolled in the Rick's shop, 12 years had passed since his venture and the cost of silver had skyrocketed. With a set benefit edge, Rick knew he seemed to offer it on quickly. So after carrying out a few checks to guarantee that silver was unadulterated, which indeed included a few drillings, he was cheerful to snap up the store for the regal entirety of $111,000. Rick paid out all the money for the amount of metal, knowing he could parcel it out himself for a healthy profit. So you have 3,372 ounces of silver. He bought right at the bottom of the market. Number seven, Lincoln Roadster. This convertible was made with one thing, an intellect extravagance. With its 150 horsepower V12 motor, it was more effective than most cars of its period. So when Rick and the Ancient Man went to check it out, they especially kept up the 32 Roadster. They knew how to go with the enormous off chance that they needed to ride it off with this vintage excellence. Within the conclusion, it was 95,000 huge, paid in cash, which is the proprietor at that point pushed back over the counter to purchase 95,000 in gold. Own around here. He owns a car dealership and he makes crazy commercials with a blue genie and he tries to rap. Number six, Gibson SG Les Paul guitar. This custom guitar had a place for American guitarist Mary Portage, who was the spouse of amazing guitarist Les Paul. From 1950 to 1954, Mary and Les co-wrote 16, 10 of the best hits and sold millions of records. Les's strong body guitar plan too viably changed the sound of shake music. As of now, an uncommon guitar indeed made more important with its genuine association to Les Paul. This would end up Rick's biggest guitar purchase of his career. After the owner's starting inquiry of $250,000, Rick did well to snap it up for a scanty $90,000. on the planet. I mean... Number 5, Gibson SJ200 Guitar. Not as it were with this guitar wonderful and uncommon, but it was too possessed by a shake legend. Stephen Stills of the Society Shake Bunch, Crosby, Stills & Nash, possessed this piece of shake and roll history, which was right away acknowledged by Rick as he articulated the words, that's cool. With a charge of a deal made by Stills himself, Rick had to burrow profoundly to urge his hands on this holy grill of Gibson guitars. Within the conclusion, he was able to prize it off the proprietor for a cool 85000 a master confirmed the genuineness of the guitar and depicted its worth. The proprietor requested $90,000, where Rick advertised 85000 No doubt, this is definitely one of Jimmy's guitars. That's really, really cool. Number 4, 1922 Proof Piece High Relief Dollar. Depicted as one of the rarest coins in American history, the 1922 tall alleviation dollar was brought into Rick's shop by a man who had initially won it in a poker division. The nobleman accepted the coin, one of as it was 10 to 12 cleared out in presence, to be worth around 20000 After Rick had one of his specialists take a look at it, that cost hopped significantly with a modern appraise given between fifty to 100000 Rick and the man stuck a bargain at 80000 Or $100,000 or more. I definitely want this thing, but I have to make absolutely sure this- Number 3, 1932 Custom Ford Roadster. Rick and Corey locked in its furious arrangements with the proprietor of a flawless jet black 500 horsepower 1932 Custom Fordage. The convertible Roadster was in faultless shape with a fair 450 miles on the clock after Vegas Custom Danny, the Count Coker, fell in love with it. Rick knew he had to strike a bargain, which he did at $68,000. Looks really clean. Do you have any miles on it? It's got 450 miles. Wow, you asked. Number two, 1915 Panama Pacific octagonal gold coin. After heading to Atlanta to go to one of the greatest coin barters in America, Rick was required to discover a 1915 Panama Pacific original $50 gold piece for a client who needed to pay $70,000 for it. These commemorative coins were made by the U.S. Mint to celebrate the opening of the Panama Canal. After following two coins down, Rick at last arranged a bargain at one for $67.5,000. This coin was made up of 90% gold and 10% copper. Rick went to another fellow with the coin, but his coin was not in great condition. It was cleaned and had misplaced its collectible C and had exceptionally self-evident harm. So Rick had to create a bargain with the primary fellow. He got the coin for $67,500. Why is 48,000? That's cheap for one of them. Number one, JFK Cigar Box. When a man strolled in the gold and silver pond with a chunk of presidential history, portrayed as a once in a lifetime item, Rick had to have it. The thing was a cigar box that once sat on President John Kennedy's work area within the Oval Office. It indeed included a few unsmoked cigars. Considering another of JFK's cigar boxes sold for over 500000 back within the 90s, Rick was onto a victor when he wrangled this one off the honor roll man for 60000 
The box had eight of the unsmoked cigars. Press Secretary Pierre Salinger bought 1,200 Cuban cigars from him that day. Sometime recently, he marked the Cuban ban. The cigars are branded as Perfecto Garcia in signs. Wait about six months. We need money now. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.